Good morning, everyone. Andrew Douglas here in the Action News 5 Digital Desk. Four years ago, can you remember what happened four years ago? We were in March of 2020, and that's when the world shut down. And we were all looking for ways to make our life a little brighter. Well, nearly one in five Americans, they adopted a pet. Well, today, those pandemic puppies, as we referred to them back then, are now fully grown family members. And pets adopted are now uh, adults. If they were adults when we adopted them, they're now seniors. And just like humans, their needs change. We're talking about puppies, kittens, now dogs and cats. Let's bring in uh, Kathy Buccio, lifestyle expert, uh, to talk more about maybe how we change and how our pandemic pets uh, change as they get older. Uh, good morning to you. I see that you have um, a little one there, uh, it, uh, Roxy, right? Um, tell me about Roxy. And, and yes, what, Andrew, uh, she, she is my pandemic pet. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, tell me a little bit about the story there. How'd you get Roxy and, and what has uh, she met over the last? Absolutely. I mean, listen, if you can't see by the portrait behind me and, and how she's carried like a queen, she basically rules this house. She's spoiled rotten. And she is just completes our family, Andrew. She came into our lives, I would say, a few months before the pandemic. And she's just so lovable. She's affectionate, loves to cuddle. She's great with the kids. And we couldn't imagine our lives without her. But like you said, we got her as a puppy and, and her needs are changing. She's growing up and, and my mom's got to deal with that, right? Yeah, she's a baby. <laughs> yes, yes, she is super cute, Kathy. So, um, so let's talk about some of the changes. You know, many people, when they adopted a pet, uh, yeah. depending on the age, the pet is in a much different stage of life. Absolutely. And these are things that we need to keep in mind because the same way that you and I will go to a doctor and get a routine checkup and get our vaccines, our pets need the same attention. So let's talk about taking them once a year to help prevent and identify conditions early when they go to the veterinarian. This is actually recommended by vets. And we also have to make sure that when we're there, our pets are up to date with vaccines. Now, whether they're puppies, whether they're kittens, or maybe they're senior pets, they all require those regular vaccines to protect them. And Vetco vaccination clinics offer new vaccine packages, and I love this, that are grouped by age and by lifestyle for your pet. And now through June 30th, I want your viewers to, to, to listen in. New pets to Vetco Total Care Hospitals, they receive their first routine checkup for free. So there's no excuse. And if you are a premier member, you receive unlimited routine vet exams. And let's say you have to go do an exam outside of Petco, they'll give you $20 in vital care rewards towards that. You know, Kathy, uh, these are probably good recommendations for the thousands of people who watch us each and every morning on the digital desk just to kind of like prioritize and support our pet's health. Do you have like just some maybe bullet points, some safety tips to just kind of do that and prioritize our, our pet's health? Absolutely. As we were talking about, Andrew, our pets needs change as they grow. So we're, let's start with something like nutrition, right? Puppies and kittens, they can benefit from specific formulations because we're really focused on their growth and we're focused on their development. Now we're talking about mature pets. They may have different dietary needs and sensitivities. So that might require a switch to a food maybe that's more focused on weight management or food with limited ingredients. So, and also when pets start settling into those senior years, and I don't like to mention it because that means our pets are getting old, they might benefit from joint and fatty supplements because these will help their mobility, their joints, their skin, and their co-health. We also think about home adaptations. When you think about bringing a puppy home or a kitten, you're thinking about gates and crates and toys. And also as pets get older, we're thinking about things like stairs and orthopedic beds. These are also a great adjustment. And if you didn't know, Andrew, March 23rd is National Puppy Day. And pet parents, listen up. You can receive 25% off select every day dog supplies at Petco or Petco Online. And that includes the beds, that includes uh, bowls and dwellings and all the things, all the things online and, and in stores. That sounds fantastic, Kathy. I, you've mentioned a bunch of things during this interview. Um, where can our viewers go for more information? Absolutely. I know that I, I, it was a mouthful, but very informative. And you're also going to learn a lot about Petco Love Lost when you go online. So make sure you go to Petco.com for more or just visit your local Petco store. All right, Kathy Buccia, lifestyle expert. We appreciate you joining us talking about how to handle our loved ones, our pets that are a part of our lives. Thank you so much, Kathy. We appreciate it.